Um, well, we went. We said we wanted to do something for Valentine's Day in the eye bang, and we wanted to do uh, heart shaped asses. Everybody, get on your computer and be ready to move as we do perfect hearts for ha Valentine's Day. Now, this is safe for work if you work in a porn store. <laughs> well, this place is kind of like a porn store. It is. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I, I hear it from our boss all the time, and he'll go like this to me. You guys got any porn? I'm like, dude, we're fuck? fucking working right That's, now. Should... Let me know if you guys find any porn. I'm going to go to HR with this. Puffin' stuff? <laughs> no, you want resources. There's two number ones on the show. So this is heart-shaped ass. That's nice. Now you say to yourself, well, it's a little tacky. I don't think so. It's just a way of saying... On Valentine's Day, you got to appreciate everything in woman. Now, do we appreciate the minds? Obviously, we of do. Of course. Personality? Yeah. yeah. You would not want an unpleasant, fucking mean person. Not be the worst. And then you'd also say uh, a great body. And Hicks, you're already bringing this up. Cleanliness is important to you on a woman. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Like dirty fingernails. Do you like that? Oh, God, no. What are you even go, going through the garbage again, lady? <laughs> also, <laughs> if you remember, bottles. remember ass cleavage. You know, you can't have any smear anywhere. That's all you. You're acting yeah. like Hicks yeah. said it. Yeah, it's you, dude. Well, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I wanted to fold it. You're the one fucking around with an incontinent chick. Now, <laughs> Zietz does the thing because he thinks he's little Jerry Seinfeld, where he has to find something wrong with the woman <laughs> so he could yell that he's disgusted and run back with his uh, crew of bros. Do you have an Elaine Bennis in your life, though, like one girl who's just a buddy? Not really, because if I did, I'd probably want to sleep with her. So it would just. I think in I your did. crew, you're the Elaine Bennis, and you don't even know it right now. Okay. I'll eat a big salad. You know, they have a big salad there. So we'll go over this. Perfect hearts for Valentine's Day. Uh, great asses. Uh, give us a call if you want to get in on this. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Or you can see this up on the iBang. I will say, of all the guys from the show who got involved with this, believe it or not, Chris Stanley took more interest than anyone else. <laughs> By far. I thought I said in a you know, thorough list. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but UCB's friends were just, Aye. you know. Zito's stuff were creepy and they had to be changed. But Fred's were just more or less disgusting. Oh my God, Fred! I didn't. I was. You I had creep. a hard time writing about asses. What? I was you, about seriously, it. you're creep. fucking awful. And I actually sent yours to the police. I felt uncomfortable when I was done with them, but I was like, I don't know how to put that many words about asses. I know, felt like good about myself after I sent mine in. Do you know how hard it is to write a paragraph about someone's ass? It's really hard. No, it's not. It's just, it's, there's not much to say. It's like that's where the poop comes out. And sometimes it's sexy. Oh, Why God. would that come to mind? You're constantly oh, worrying about God. shitty asses on women. It is. It's what they're used for. All right. What? You know what? Fred, tap out with him. <laughs> no. Ta oh. Tap out with him, Fred. And when he fucking learns to talk nicer, and you know what? You're already, take a nap because you already got this big lead over Fezzy today. And I do think Fez is going to come back and catch you. Now I can't come back to this mic because it's going to be all sickly. Are you already sick from being in that room with him? Yeah. Now you're going to have the shitty ass. Uh, going over some of the great asses, see if we all agree with this. Uh, right off the bat, Kate Hudson. Oh, hell yeah. Now, Kate Hudson... Here's the beauty. Oh, I didn't even know that. You can make that even uh, a little bigger. Uh, Kate Hudson uh, comes from a long line of great asses. Goldie, baby. And that takes us back. Is it nature or nurture to have a great ass? Nature. Nature. It's genetics. Or did somehow her mom give her a well-paved ass? Did she sit there and just work that ass over? Like a sculptor. Yeah. All this raw material. Um, Fred, where are you on Kate Hudson's ass? 
I think it's nice. She's a little skinny for me, but it's all right. She is skinny, but there's a bubble butt there. Which is nice. That's always better when you have, like, a nice skinny woman, but then she's got a nice big ass. So you're a butt guy. You you like an ass. Yeah, I like the ass and, you know, the thighs and the You waist. said even on a guy you like a nice no, ass. No, mostly on women. Not mostly. Oh, uh, where are you on this, uh, Hex? Do you fucking, agreement on that? Fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Jesus Christ, there ain't nothing wrong with Kate Hudson. Uh, Zeke, you can yell in for this. Where are you on the Kate Hudson? Where's the shit coming? nice. Uh, it's not my favorite. There are definitely some on this list I enjoy more. Well, we understand that. We're not saying... First of all, this isn't a contest. Oh, this is an appreciation. It's an appreciation. All right? We're not some fucking Donald Trump show where people get voted off. Everybody on this list is a winner today. Mm-hmm. Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Of course, you can check this out on the iBang under perfect tarts for Valentine's Day, unless, um, you know, you got some fucking shitty job. I don't know where you're working, <laughs> Winn-Dixie or some fucking place. What's on your computer? All right, the next one is somewhat of a shocker. Um, Cameron Diaz makes it. Wow. Mainly based on the fact that she booty dances or rubs her ass into the camera and do most of her films. Now, Zietz is a rom-com watcher. Yes. Uh, but you... Have you ever counted how many times she's booty danced? No, no. But... That'll be your newest thing. Oh, okay, so I have to watch every Cameron Diaz movie. Um, yes. When you're not measuring you against Fez today, okay. on a... Spy report. Spy report. Spy report. On a spy report. I'm still waiting for my text back, too, from last night. I got to check on our friend. I just checked a couple of minutes ago. I still haven't heard. Um, do you got a problem with the Cameron Diaz? Because I know the hipsters don't like her so much. Uh, she's hated on, but I like her ass. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, why is she hated on? Tell me why she's hated on in the hipster community. Uh, because she doesn't make hip, cool films. I think people just disregard her as a rom-com Maybe even shitty action movie star. Perhaps you could alert your friends to a little film called The Mask starring Jim Carrey. I'm trying. That's the, that's the movie that broke her in. Hell yeah. It's gorgeous, that movie. And gorgeous today. Um, let's go over here to Mike. Mike, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, how about going old school with Jamie Lee Curtis in the first Halloween movie? Oh, my God, that was one teardrop-shaped, heart-shaped ass. She's very beautiful, but in the tits and ass world, I think she's a tit girl. Much more known for her titties. Beautiful as she is. I saw her not too long ago. She's very attractive. Uh, Kevin, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. Yes, go ahead, hey, Kevin. Uh, Kate Beckinsale, she's got a perfect 10 ass from... Uh, the Van Helsing movie. Now, this is going to shock you. I did not see the Van Helsing movie. Now, she's a very attractive girl. Oh, she's gorgeous. But um, a thin young lady. Now, when she was supposed to come in here one day, we were all excited about it. And then, um, that's small. Yeah, it's that's like, small. there's no shape to it, really, you no, know? Just like a tiny, little, little ankle file like ass. Like a tiny boy's ass, really, like an English boy's ass. It's like a mannequin or something. Like um, Harry Potter's redheaded friend's ass. <laughs> Ron, Ron Weasley. <laughs> Is that his name? Yeah. I thought he was. his name was just Harry's friend. Uh, you can also write up your perfect asses for the perfect Valentines up on the iBank today. And there are pictures... Um, you know a lot of Hicks's because he provided nude and non-nude. <laughs> well, I was fine, you know. Hey, give people a choice. <laughs> All right, let's move down here. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez makes it. Now, some people are writing, Hicks, that this picture is photoshopped. No fucking way. I never knew this, this picture to be Photoshop. It's a famous picture. It is a famous, famous picture. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that ass. What the fuck? She, uh, well, when she came, to, came in here, it, it created a, 
a, a firestorm, if you will. Mm-hmm. Her walking around these halls, people were losing it. Um, Duke, you're on the Run of Face show. Scarlett Johansson in Lost in Translation. She's wearing undies all, all movie long. Oh, her ass is slamming. Uh, she did not make it on some recent pictures, that's all. And in the tits and ass world, she's sorry. A, she's a titty girl. She's a titty girl. Big old titty girl. <laughs> she's a titty girl. And that's something to be very, very proud of. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It's just a great fucking It's breath. just not for the heart-shaped ass Valentine show, no, that's this all. Is, this is ass-centric right here. Sure, mm. some of these women have breasts, if not all of them. <laughs> but they're known for their asses. Way to talk your way out of it. <laughs> Some of them are known to have breasts. Uh, each of them has teeth. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they don't belong here. <laughs> um, Rob, you're on the Run of Face show. Hey, Ron. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about one of your favorites, uh, Emmy Rossum. I'm shameless. Very, very pretty young lady does not fit into the heart shape, though. Uh, she's a long, cool woman in a black dress. But no. But not a famous ass. But she's a very, very uh, fine young actor. And in Zeet's defense here, she will do a lot of potty scenes. Now, they tend to be pissing scenes on Shameless. Yeah. I know he's waiting for a dookie fucking scene. He always tells me, hey, if the dookie falls, fucking please DVR for me. <laughs> plop, plop. Oh, he is fucking sick. Seriously. Scatman over there. Scatman Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Jennifer Lopez. But she's almost forgotten about in the ass game yeah. these days, you know? It's unbelievable. Really? I think people have forgotten about her a little bit because she hasn't been. They forgot of about Dre. Yeah, they've forgotten about Dre, and they've forgotten about J-Lo. <laughs> Last night, she did the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson's replacement, Jay Leno. <laughs> she wore a very baggy dress and did not try to sport the ass at all. You got to show this off, J-Lo. You got to get back into the fucking... You got to stop calling your ass Dre and get it back out there again. See, she's sitting on it all through Idol, so we uh, no one oh, ever sees it anymore. Oh, oh Fezzy. Oh she God. should be standing as she judges. Oh, Fezzy. Uh, she's not a slave whore. She's a person. <laughs> it's not like she's a polar bear with clear fucking hair. God, no. Creepy. God, I hate polar bears now that they have the, it's clear hair, not white. Why do you hate them? It's like they're lying to us. I wanted to have white hair. Polar bears, clear-haired little polar bears. You know, I, this has never really come up, but most polar bears, like they said, if animals had a religion, would be Jewish. What? How's Isn't it? that fucking crazy? Like, are they kosher? Is that why? Yeah. Wow. A lot of fish. <laughs> Good to know. Here's the thing. A fucking polar bear has never even invented a fucking fishing rod. No, they just, like, rah, they just fucking throw their paws up in that motherfucker. They're so much stupider than we are. So much fucking stupider. Why would they stay in the Arctic tundra? I'll tell you what's stupid. A rabbit. Oh, here. I'll live in a hole. Really? That's a fucking house, you? That's Look at the fucking dope. crib I'm fucking rocking right now. <laughs> fucking central air, dog. Central heat. <laughs> You just got a cold-ass fucking dirt oh, hole. Yeah, nice fucking hole. Any place for your fucking TV in there? Oh, no, that's right. You don't have electricity, you fucking stupid rabbit. No wonder we don't give you tricks. <laughs> you can take a fucking three-year-old, and they're smarter than any rabbit that's ever lived. Fuck yeah. There's been a lot of rabbits. Favorite rabbit of all time? Bugs Bunny. Not even close, is it? Even over the Easter Bunny. Yeah. I mean, next, I guess, maybe Roger Rabbit, but Roger Rabbit I fucking can't stand kind Roger of Rabbit. He's crazy. He's fucking screaming and being stupid. Uh, he had a great fucking chick, though. Oh, hell yeah. He bagged that up. Nice ass. He was, he was a pussy magnet. Dude, Fuck. the Easter Bunny kicks ass, though. He gives you gifts and stuff. Gifts? What is a gift? The fucking basket of chocolate? We got a guy working over at Hershey who does better for us. The candy man. That's right. He yeah. sent a fucking thing. He sent you guys 36 pounds of candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just sounds insane. It's like you sent me 
three small babies worth of candy. Oh, God, why do you equate everything with a baby? Oh, you come no. up with a That wasn't it. I saw the fucking movie. That was not in there. Look, <laughs> there's a picture of Roger Rabbit just railing <laughs> Jessica and just, you know, grabbing That's titties. a great fucking body. I mean, out of every cartoon ever, it's got to be... The most fuckable. Strangely, yeah. not the first time I've seen this photo. It's constantly brought up in the office. You say that, Admiral Levine, or whatever the fuck it is. Adam Levine. <laughs> He's the one who brings this shit up. He's trying to fucking pin it on me. It's ridiculous. I don't know if you know what? Computer. Don't fucking sink to his level, Chris. Thank you. At, at good advice. Know, good advice. At least we know Roger Rabbit is a boy. To that picture. <laughs> we know that Viking's a fucking boy, too. Hell yeah. The fucking. Fred, the gay cartoonist. Big ol' uncut boy. <laughs> Would that be called a gay tunist? No, I think it's just cartoonist. I don't know why we need to separate between... So we can tell apart. So we can judge. You using your replay at all today? I haven't yet. Can't wait to you do. Um, let's go over here to Drew. Drew, perfect heart shake. That's is. Hey, uh, Alicia Keys has got the most underrated ass out there. Uh, those tight dresses she wears, man, that is a hot ass. I'll Nobody tell you this. She's a great fucking singer. Um, I'm trying to look at this online. She's very attractive in every way. The ass on the right in a nice tight dress. Mm. Not bad at all, Miss Keys. Um, I want to read some of these that are up on the iBank. Cooker says, where's Bailey J? Uh, Rob Dog says, Jessica Biel and Shakira. Shakira should have been on this list. I wear both those asses as hats. Shakira doesn't have that many good uh, bikini shots. She's always in tight pants with that ass. Hmm. Gex says, Jessica Beale from Chuck and Larry. First of all, I have to take your fucking word on it. Who would ever watch Chuck and Larry? No, but they're pretending to be gay so they can get benefits. Here's S uh, wants Fez to say pussy. Pussy? Oh, God. <laughs> Spanky Frank says, only one black check on this list. It's a sad day for the black man. Well, smack, Spanky Frank, you there's two things about with you. A, you ain't black. B, that ain't even your kidney, motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Feel grateful. Then he has that thing in his wrist. Yeah, that vibrates. Why? Then it keeps him alive. I gotta get one of my fucking wrists then. Let's all get them. It's like the Iron Man core. I wish Whitney Houston would have had one on her wrist. I wish Abraham Lincoln had one on his. <sighs> Vampire fucking hunter. Or just normal human one. All right, she should have been on the list. That is very pretty. What's her name? Jessica Biel. That's JT's wife. I think on again, off again, fuck buddy. <laughs> yeah, they're engaged. <laughs> That's so Seriously, that's so fucking stupid. You would be the worst gossip columnist ever. <laughs> Looks like JT's fucking Jessica Biel again. Oops. See, he's going for it. Fucking, he's being weird for no apparent reason. He just gets fucking weird to try to get himself out of an uncomfortable thing. It's like to imagine Hicks running a Perez Hilton type gossip site. <laughs> oh man, Perez Hilton's fucking friend. Didn't get anybody to turn their chair around for him last night. Good. He's like, I don't care what anyone says. You're a star. Fuck those haters. I'm going to go home, draw pictures of fucking people splooging on them. I guess that would be pretty much a gossip call if I read it. <laughs> Why don't you do one? Why Here's some you... jizz on your face. <laughs> Chris Stanley fucking. Chris Stanley Hilton. There you go. Of the Conrad Hiltons. Fuck these people. Fuck these celebrities. God, Bunch of worst. fucking idiots. Who even likes any of this? Here, here's some jizz on your fucking face. 
<laughs> my thing, if I went in a lot of get like a lot of hits from my gossip site, is that I would always say that celebrities' babies died. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston's baby died today. In a fire. What if it was killed by another celebrity's baby? Oh, that would be fun. Smothered to death. Siri. By, Cru by Siri Cruz. Siri Cruz. <laughs> fucking axe murderer? I don't know. You asked yourself. I'm too fucking busy chasing the dragon. You'll never guess what Maddox Jolie suffocated on this weekend. <laughs> guess whose baby drowned in a bathtub? Check it with me. Click here. <laughs> <laughs> or I would just say, look, well, who's a pregnant fucking person right now? Give me a pregnant celebrity. Uh, 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 Jessica Simpson, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is Jessica Simpson's baby black? <laughs> we'll find out in the next week. Black or stillborn? Bad news. Jessica ba <laughs> Simpson's baby died in her stomach. <laughs> Yet she's still keeping it inside for some reason. She's Separation having... <laughs> anxiety? <laughs> Looks like she misses Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> she's still having a christening, but still more. <laughs> <laughs> People write it. Hey, stop it with all the dead baby stuff, man. <laughs> Just awful. <laughs> Neil, pa Neil Patrick Harris impregnating his ass with cum. Oh my god, you do love Neil Patrick Harris. I knew it. <laughs> Is Neil Patrick Harris adopting a dead Chinese baby? <laughs> my sources say yes. He's having it shipped over <laughs> in an ice box. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris been artificially inseminated by a polar bear? Check it out. Doesn't even make sense. Well, yeah, We're crazy. talking about dead babies. Oh my god. Not fucking gay ass babies. Um, Frank, you're on my first. Hey, you guys watch uh, Conan O'Brien last night? They had Ice T's wife, Coco, up there? No. Correct? No, I don't watch TBS. Bet there weren't any Coco jokes when they were both on there together. Yeah. Save so, Coco. Pull it off. Pull the video. Pull it off. Why would I fucking seriously? Why would I pull it off? Coco's very famous. Uh, Ice T. Uh,. Well, he loves her. Ice loves Coco. There's yeah. no way around it. I believe them. Definitely. Now, she was on one of the news shows the other day for laying naked next to a baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that I guess that she tweeted it. Yeah. And it wasn't her baby. Did Coco's ass suffocate this baby? At least I don't think it was her baby. Why would it load? Here we go. Yeah, but yeah, sure. Her titties are popped out, next right next to the child's head. Who's the, who's the kid belong to though? How come it's like kind of socially acceptable to be naked around a baby, but there's a certain age where this would be totally weird? Like fourteen. <laughs> yes. Like if you if a woman lays night, na well, you know, let's be honest. If a fucking guy was laying naked next to like his fucking friend's baby, that would sister's kid. It's her sister's yeah. kid. I got no problem with it. What do I care what goes on over there in their family? Child uh, services. Yeah, they, they fucking wear down on people. Now, child services showed up over that uh, guy who shot up his little kid's laptop, and you were pissed about it. Yeah, Facebook dad. The guy who, um, because he found a Facebook post that annoyed him, made a YouTube video and shot up his daughter's fucking laptop like fucking 12 times. Cops and child services rolled up into his fucking place to interview him and his daughter separately to, make sh to see if uh, what the hell's going on. He says that they loved him and there's no problem, but I can't believe that. The man's still fucking. Sh yeah, but they're probably property. in some bug tussle town. They're all the same. Oh, fuck. I heard that somebody offered her a job, like, so she could pay, like, buy a new laptop and move out, like, some ice cream parlor locally. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, fucking well, sight you? unseen. <laughs> uh, Mike, you're on Fez. Hey, how you doing? Um, what do you think of uh, Heather Graham's ass and Boogie Nights, those short shorts and the, the roller skates? Um, she's more of a tick girl, yeah, and I love her. Mm. And big eyes. I think she did o and a show back when we were on 57th Street, and seeing those eyes in, in fucking, in real life, were just stunning. Oh, she's awesome. What, what do you hate? Did he fucks up the mic when he's in there? It's just all the way all over the place. <laughs> Look, that's his. Well, why did you like put it back so angry? Because I, I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I was like, God. get back in front of my face, Mike. 
You gotta get your anger under control, Mark. Right, some uh, a couple of people writing in. This sucks. I won't be able to see this tonight. Till tonight. What kind of fucking job do you have that you can't see an ass at work? There's just a little bit of titty, a little bit of ass. Who's gonna be upset by that, huh? What squares do you work with? All right, let me read some. Of, this is from Jake. See if you agree or don't agree. Uh, what? John Mayer didn't make Zito's list? Fagala. Okay. Well, I don't think that's a good... Is that even an offensive term? Fagala? Yeah. Uh, not a word, though. Here, here's fucking Zito's picture right here. And fucking John <laughs> that's Mayer. That's fucking disgusting. John Mayer was ass hanging out. Dude. Don't fucking put that up anymore, Zeitz. I don't want to fucking see okay, that. Okay, once again, Zito. I'm not the one controlling the computer. Bullshit. Uh, Zito, you're all over this thing, man. All right, here is a picture of uh, Stacey Keebler. Now, here's the amazing thing about Stacey Keebler, in my opinion. George Clooney goes with her, right? Yeah. She's a fucking valet from wrestling, and no one busts his balls about it. They're not like... They're like... <laughs> Dude, great chick. Yeah, she's uh, very fucking hot. <laughs> now, she's gorgeous, great fucking body, and uh, I even heard this from Mankind. One of the sweetest people you ever want to meet in your life. Oh, that's great. Well, good. George and that's from George Cactus Lee. Jack Manson. Do love. So George Clooney, our biggest and best movie star, our greatest Batman, is finally in that happily ever after. I hear the two of them are thinking about having a dead baby. If you need, check out my gossip column for it. It's a blind item. She's one of the few lady wrestlers that could ever step over the top rope. Now, do you consider a lady wrestler or a valet? No, I would cons I, she's gotten in the ring enough that I would consider her a uh, lady wrestler. See, I'm going to go once a valet, always a valet. Like a uh, mula wrestler. Oh, sure. But mula never walked anybody else to the ring or held their fucking shit for them. Yeah, Scary Sherry, she was a valet. She was, but she did wrestle, right? Yeah, she's a they all eventually fan. they all eventually had to wrestle, <laughs> but they could be called the wrestling valet. Like, remember, um, what's his name, Mister the Millionaire guy's valet, right? Uh, Virgil. Even when he started wrestling, I still considered him a valet. I couldn't fucking ever shake it. I'm sorry, dude. I've seen you holding somebody else's fucking jacket for them. And put money put in your mouth. What a strange character that was. Wow, what's so strange about it? A rich man has a helper. <laughs> with a sleeveless tux. What's wrong with that, Zito? I just want to end valetism. Why? It's a fucking honest living. Not the way the million dollar million dollar man was all about, you know, virtual. Everybody's got their price, okay? <laughs> and the, the million dollar man's gonna find it. I heard he's born again. Yeah, he actually, as far as last time I checked, he goes around like house shows in different uh, territories, and they they have a touring promotion. I think it's like uh, preaching and wrestling at once. Why don't you start running a new fucking segment for me called Boring Facts? I'm sorry. And you can just fucking read them off, and it'll sound like the dullest shit ever. Uh -oh. Now, and again, I might be going too far here, but I think if you want to be born again and tell people that you are, you need to be shoved through somebody's fucking vagina. Or else it's almost a front to babies who were actually born. Oh, would, we have to, would it be a human vagina or would we have to make a fucking big fake vagina we push them through? <laughs> that's, that's not a vagina, dude. That's a fucking simulation ride. <laughs> Are you fuck a flashlight, like that's not a vagina. So You've got it like idea. a football team running through the tunnel. Oh, fast. It would be tighter than a tunnel. I mean, you'd have to work to get out of it. <laughs> not in his family. Oh. Oh. Not in this family. It's like a fucking bowling alley. <sighs> Ew. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to asses. Hicks, pick out one of your favorites here. I'm going to go number four on the list, Vita Guerra. Who, What's the whole story on her? Well, she was originally like a, a FHM model. And then once her FHM fucking photos came out and everyone saw that ass... People started losing shit. She got started getting thrown into every fucking music video that they, she could get herself into. What was some of the music videos she was in? Uh, Shake a Tail Feather, I believe, by oh, Nelly. Nice. Uh, some 50 Cent videos, some G-Unit videos. I think she's a Puff Daddy video. And she ended up on Chappelle's show, too. What she did for him? She was in the music video he did for Piss on You. If anything, she seems like a valet to me. Like a video version of a valet. 
But she's stunning, though. Yeah, she's fucking really hot. And she has a giant ass. And she was, like, right before the Kim Kardashian explosion. So she got overshadowed. Because her ass is fucking great. And just as gigantic as Kim's. All right, I'm going to tell you something, though. I'd be so... F I'd go so far to say that the the great ass thing started with J-Lo, even before. Yeah. That, that was just... That was the first big, like, media fucking focus on an ass. Yeah. And before that, there. they would focus on uh, people's bodies. But not specifically on a on asses. Yeah. You getting a text, Big Cat? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, just texting on some technical things. Hmm. It's like it's over my head. Whatever he's doing right now. No, it's over my head, so I can't explain it to you. Well, then who are you getting texts from? Stephen Hawking? <laughs> Probably the only way to really talk with him. Hello, fans. <laughs> Help me. What if I get Stephen Hawking, smartest man in the world, just starts texting us, kill me, <laughs> smother me, well, like guess, Jack Nicholson guess was. if you want. I want to take you with me, Stephen Hawking. Cha-ching. Did you fucking cry at that scene? It's pretty fucking sad, man. Mm. I fucking cried, too, but it was because I lost my wallet. Oh, but... And I had like thirty dollars in there. I, I had thirty dollars in a baby's finger in my wallet. Why, why would you keep the finger? You got to remember the baby. Kid, not baby. Oh, you just forgot to mail it out. I mailed the baby back and got the finger. <laughs> I, said, I said, "Have you ever hoped to see this baby's finger again?" <laughs> and that was like my first kidnapping. That's when I knew I stunk at it. I'm just fucking awful. It's okay. There's other babies to kidnap. Let's go to a nice. Won't be the same. And they know they'll just wait me out till I make a stupid mistake. <laughs> you always remember your first. Uh, Frank, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie B, you stole my thunder with Shakira, but I got I got the number one ass for you. That that reporter, that Spanish reporter, that the Jets harassed. Oh know. yeah, we all love her. That girl has an ass burning in my mind right now. Hey, uh, Zeitz, did you know? Somebody that was with her, or that was somebody else from the Jets? Uh, yeah, Jen Sturger was not. The, Jen Sturger was the far chick, and she wasn't the one that. The, this the was just the hot like Venezuelan girl or yeah, something. Yeah. She's amazing, and she actually did not even play it up that big. Like she never got offended. No, she's like whatever. Well, yeah, why wouldn't they go fucking crazy when I came out there? They got some great pictures of her on the web on That's uh, right. Google. The internet oh, has everything. You, you, you fucked up, Hicks. I did fuck up. You're right. I should have fucking did, remembered this part. I did. Don't mean that you can't fix this for next year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the entire team just lost its shit. They just couldn't control themselves. Yeah, the guys started jizzing on the field. <laughs> Jeff, you're on the Running Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. I, I got a great ass for you. Jennifer Love Hewitt. I'm going to be honest here. Tit girl. Yeah, she's known for her breasts. No, she's yeah, got she a is. great ass. Yeah, but she's known for the titties. Yeah. There's no okay. doubt there. And that's a, that's a compliment, obviously. Yeah. I mean, she's uh, a very attractive girl. Oh, look at that picture. <laughs> that's bad. Why, you, you do that on purpose to try to ruin the day? No, I'm not trying Valentine's to ruin anything. Day. No, Valentine's Day's great. Why are you going to be like I got up to just be in a really good mood with you today. Just have a great fucking day and make everything terrific. Everything's working out. It's great. But, yeah, she's known for her breasts. You had anything on your 360 FS? No. You planning? Yeah. Oh, you've been back into that for like a month or so, right? No. But what do you got? Let's go over here to Boney. You're on the Run of Fish show. Yeah, hey, this is Tony. But, uh, I have you down as Boney. Oh. Fred. That's uh, a better name, actually. Fred calling a man Boney. What up, Bones? Nah, I'll go with that. Hey, uh, the great ass phenomenon, I think it started with Catherine Bach and Daisy Dukes. Well, they named the shorts, shorts after her. Yeah, there's no doubt she was known for her long legs. But was she known for the ass? I think she was more known for those fucking legs of hers, those stems. Uh, it might have been, but, you know, the ass hanging out of the bottom of the shorts, I just, 
Kyle and, thought that had. That I don't think you'll been. ever find one picture where the ass is hanging out of the bottom of the shorts. No, the way Jessica Simpson wore it was definitely as an ass girl. Yeah, she's showing that. And up. even though I would probably say she's more known, known for breast, she's going to be on that new uh, TV show where they uh, rip off the fashion show. They put it on NBC. They rip off the fucking... Project Runway? Yeah, Project Runway. I'm sure they are they sitting in chairs. The chairs turn around when they think they hear a good dress. <laughs> if someone's sewing really good, they just fucking turn around. It sounds like you're using cotton. <laughs> the touch, the, the feel, feel of cotton. cotton. Fabric of our lives. Who was the comic that used to do that? He was like the annoying, the touch, the feel of cotton. He was the guy who used to do, we're not big pants people. Kevin Meany. What happened to Kevin Meany? He was so fucking big, so well known. And then one day he was like, okay, that's the end of the Kevin Meany time in the world. That's fucked. You got any drops? No, I don't. Not one? No Kevin Meany drops. But any kind. Uh, John, you're on my face. Hey. Yeah. I want to talk about the sweetest ass out there. Yeah, we're here. Says Watley. Got but, a sweet ass. Well, his got hosed out when he was a child. Hosed out in the fucking street. Give us another one, uh, Hicks. Here's a surprising one that just came up recently, I think, in the last, maybe, I don't know, six months. Katrina Bowden, the receptionist yes. from, from 30 here? Rock. Work, that works here? No, 30 Rock. Right across the street. She was in here not too long ago, and Zietz was pretty fucking excited about it. I'm in love with her, and then she went and got fucking engaged to who? three days later. Fred. Not Fred. Fred, congratulations. Why haven't we met her? Why, did you think that you were going to be with the girl from 30 Rock? Well, I was thinking, you know, here's what I, when a celebrity comes in here and they don't have a lot of Twitter followers and they're like fringe famous, I always sort of assume, maybe, maybe something could happen. It never does, but I figure it could. I mean, guys around here who work here have ended up with some really hot chicks. Wait, wait, you think that she's fringe famous because she's on 30 Rock? I think that she's she's not the most famous member of 30 Rock. I don't think a lot of people knew her by name before the Maxim spread until recently. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about uh, she didn't blow up on 30 Rock and got used less. And then also the boss's assistant, the boss's gay assistant, who, you know, Jack's like kind of Pakistani gay assistant, has been there since the first episode and never gets a storyline. Just forgotten about can't do anything with it. Tufer doesn't even do all that well. And you know what? The the bald uh, head writer, I think, was supposed to be a big part of that show, and it never has panned out for him either. It's just Tina Fey now. Bald, that's where the whole thing's focused on. Right? Well, Tracy. And tra Tracy. Tracy always gets a storyline. And uh, Kenneth, the gay fucking page, has done very well for himself. I think people were... were I th when I when the first show came out, I thought this Katrina Bowden would get more time than the p gay page. And that's oh, just fucking totally flipped my shit around. I thought and, the bald guy was going to be end up like a Liz Lemon love interest. Like those two would end up together. See, I think he was put on as Murray. For oh. Mary Tyler Moore. So he was supposed to always... Because he had a wife. Right. And he was always supposed to be like best friend and bouncing thing, but that became Jack. It was almost like Jack became Lou Grant and Murray. And fuck everything else that ever happened. Um, she is engaged to Ben Jorgensen, who's some musician. What do you mean some musician? Like he's nobody? Like he's just playing clubs in Brooklyn? Seems like it. You gotta get a band going, dude. Or plastic surgery. Why don't you fucking sing your hit song, Come Juice? Yeah, you already have that guy is a lot better looking than you, no doubt about oh, it. Yeah. It's definitely true. Better hair. I mean I guess. You weren't even fucking good enough looking to hook up with the love of your life from your school, remember? I do. She remember married that. that other dude in San Francisco? I right do, in front of you? I do recall that. I remember when that happened. I was uh, I was there. Yeah, because you took two weeks off to go. <laughs> I did not take two weeks off, Pepper. 
<laughs> Go look at some more pictures of Neil Patrick Harris. You're boyfriend. the one who brings them up because you, you thought David Burke is dating him. Even if either one of you guys are gay, you're still accepted on this show. It's never something that makes you different from other people. Oh, I understand, but I'm very straight. Still, you would be accepted. Good. Uh, Nick, you're running for this. Yeah, how you doing today, boys? Uh, I got I got an ask for you, but first I'll let you know about Kevin Meany. Kevin Meany in the last couple of years has gotten divorced from his wife after a lot of years and has come out of the closet. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's I, I heard him, uh, I forget where I heard him do the interview, but he's still really funny. He ha always had that niche, you're too crazy and stuff like that. I really enjoy him. Yeah, I, he had a very, very strong career. Ended up playing Uncle Buck on the TV show that didn't last long, but, you know, yeah. would get uh, a lot of heat, and then you just never heard about him again. Okay, and now for my ass. Mm -hmm. Leah Remini from King of Queens, and especially one episode where she's leaning into the closet wearing a pair of pink uh, pants. Oh, my God, Ronnie. She has the hottest ass. Now, that's also going to depend on the episode, because there's some of the episodes where she's bigger than him. Hell yeah. I can't believe you actually found the pink pants photo. <laughs> I'm nice, right? Let me tell you, when I have fucking Hicks on that thing, we get everything immediately. Now, one of the other members of the team always see doing this. A. A. Okay. That's on the left. There it is. Now I need a N. No, no, we were looking up AAA Auto Care. <laughs> Delete that. All right, through. so go back to yeah, A. Yeah, yeah. Go back to A. Here's, oh my God, I can't believe well, that's Lee just Remini Alcoholics Anonymous. You need another one. Wow. That's see me. That's see a real picture, me. Leah Remini. Yeah, Leah Remini did porn. Wow, she's getting fucked. And her body looks totally different. She That's back ring? when she used to be about 12 inches taller than she is. <laughs> That's probably why she, she's, she's not on the talk anymore, right? Um, probably why. Scott, you're on my face. Yeah, I would totally eat the ass out of Sofia Vergara of Modern Family. Did that make the list, uh, Peppy Hamburger? No, she's Sofia. She's the modern day Charles. That's right. She's a tit woman, though. Yeah, I was going. That's e true, too. Easily. It's, I, I would argue it's not even close. I would argue that it's close. People agree. Because look at that. Well, yeah. When you, I, it's probably when both. When you put it that way. <laughs> yeah, it's both. It's both. <laughs> but she'd be welcome in either camp. Yeah. Happy to have her. Welcome aboard. Mike, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. William Bucks today, kid. No, thanks. Uh, it's what, I want to let you know, uh, before Hicks brought up Katrina Bowden, I was just thinking about it, and uh, actually, she went to an all-girls Catholic high school in New Jersey, and I went to an all-boys one in Jersey, so I knew her back when she was a freshman, who was 14 years old, smoking back then. Oh. You get it in? Yeah, uh, I'm not that good-looking. Mm. What do you do, watch you drive off with older guys? Yeah, you know, I had a little something-something, and then the, all the, the, the quarterbacks and football players came in and just swooped her off her feet. Yeah. Well, now she got Ben Jorgensen, professional musician, I think. Mm. Yeah, he's from Jersey. He's a professional musician. Great. Good for him. Well, Springsteen's from Jersey, and you seem to like him a lot. Bon Jovi's from Jersey, and you got his fucking poster up in your house. Okay, well, they didn't, they didn't steal my dream girl. Southside Johnny's from fucking Jersey. You're constantly playing him. I think you're making up facts about me. No, no. no. Well, if Dave was here, he'd tell me everybody else. The Quartos are from Jersey. That's right, they are. Hey, how did Dave end up liking his, uh, what do you call it, show? The fucking... Guns? Yeah, Guns Without Roses. <laughs> she and Arbery, oh, he loved it. He got fucking lit up. That's yeah, unusual <laughs> for him. Can't wait to find the 360 he, photo. He told me that uh, fucking Axel had a guy in a top hat come out to make everyone think it was Slash. <laughs> it wasn't Slash. It's fucking hysterical. <laughs> they like had like a fucking camera on the guy. Like everyone's like, oh my God, it's Slash. Fuck with the audience a little bit. That's yeah. good. Like tear their fucking hearts out. It was a really white guy with like a handlebar mustache. Well, here's me. the weird thing. I do think that fucking Axel wore it, the top hat first. And then Slash started wearing it. Wow. I might be wrong. God knows I've been wrong before. 
Axl Rose in the top half. Tying elephants' noses together is fucking ridiculous. I mean, it just seems painful for the elephants. There he is. That's somebody else wearing it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he just has the bandana and a backwards hat. See, Slash didn't wear it every day in the old days. Now it's fucking constant with the top hat. I mean, it's a good look. It is. It looks like you want to fucking take people in a horse and cart around Central Park. <laughs> you should do that, just for the fuck around. Or end slavery. <laughs> Brandon, you're on a fez. Or hunt vampires. <laughs> Yo, man, best ass got to be Jamie Presley, Poison Ivy 3. <laughs> Tit girl. Also beautiful face, beautiful eyes. Yeah, she's great. I saw her on the street one day. She's stunningly pretty. Oh, that's a pretty great ass, though. Yeah. Nothing wrong. Oh. All right. Um, Mina Savari unexpectedly made this list. She's under the radar with that ass of hers. I, people are sleeping on the Mina Savari. But she has a great ass. This actually did not get put in to uh, this, but I have heard her ass called a chipmunk ass. Before. Really? I don't like the tattoo. One of the websites calls her chipmunk. No, I'm not a big tattoo fan. Especially on the chest, on a woman that is like right below her breasts, like, I don't know, I guess diaphragm, I don't know. Your chick has a lot of tats, though, doesn't she? She only has a couple. She's That's all great. linked up, just fucking huge sleeves. <laughs> she has love and hate across each knuckle. <laughs> what do you want, Ronnie B? I'll go either fucking way right now. Zeitz, where are you on the tattooed woman? I hate them. I hate them. Like, it, I can deal with one. Like, girls always end up having, like, a small one, like maybe a star down near the belly button or something. I can yeah. handle that. But anything on the upper arm or especially the lower back, I fucking hate. Oh, and especially anything right above uh, uh, the pussy I don't like. <laughs> I've never heard him say that before. And he just went like this, the pussy. Uh, I didn't uh, know. I, was, I thought, like, do I want to call it a vagina? <laughs> what do I want to go with? And I went pussy. And like, eh, wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's two today. Like Faz also said, pussy. We don't normally hear either one of those guys say pussy. Now Hicks will say it for someone's mom. So, well, I, I it slips out. I have the pussy problems. slips out. No, my, the word. Out of my you mouth. used the term in front of some mom the other day. Use meat curtains. <laughs> 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 she should have known better coming in here. 